Hey guys, welcome back to another Rust guide. Today I'm going to be showing you all the best Rust commands and keybinds for both PvP and PvE. All these commands will be in the description, so you can just copy them directly from there. I'd appreciate it if you like and subscribe. Now let's get right into the video. Okay, so if you want to enable all the counters, just type perf4. So you can see you have FPS, RAM, and ping. Then if you want to remove them all, just type perf0. Next we have quick kill. All you do is press F1 and then type kill. This will allow you to instantly kill yourself and respawn quick so you get a bad spawn on the beach. Then you want to type bind J kill. And what this does is it allows you to key bind kill to any key on your keyboard to instantly do it. Now all I have to do is press the J key and it instantly kills me. Now do keep in mind there's a 30 to 40 second cooldown timer between each kill. Next up is combat log. You can manually type combat log on the command console and it'll show all the damage you've done to players and structures, as well as tell you if you've killed or downed someone. Then you can type bind f1 combat log and this will allow you to toggle combat log on and off every time you press f1. Next we have auto attack and duck. So this will allow you to automatically crouch and automatically attack. So your pickaxe will keep swinging as long as you leave the key bind on. All you have to type is bind j duck semicolon attack and if you just want it to be an auto auto attack all you have to do is remove the semicolon and duck and it'll just swing your pickaxe this is really good for picking walls and for farming trees okay next up is the auto run to bind auto run to whatever key you want to bind it to you type bind whatever key you want to bind it to forward semicolon sprint now, this will bind your auto run to whatever key you, you typed in. And that means whenever you press this key, it will turn on your auto run. To turn it off, just press Shift W and you'll stop auto running. Okay, next up is auto swim. To bind auto swim to a key, you type bind, and put whatever key you want to bind it to. Type forward, semicolon sprint, semicolon jump. And basically when you press this key, it will allow you to swim infinitely and it'll do it automatically. This is really good for going back to rigs. And if you want to just stay in one spot, you just press Shift W and you'll just hover in one spot. Okay, next up is a key bind that will allow you to auto craft items while you're running. So you just type bind J, craft, period, add, and you type in the uh, item ID of whatever item you want to craft. In this case, I set it to bandages. So whenever I press J, it'll craft me a single bandage. So you can just spam click it and queue up a bunch. Next up is zoom in and out. So to zoom in, you want to type bind J graphics period FOV zero. Bind it to whatever key you want to use to zoom in. And then type bind J graphics period FOV 90. And this would be the key you use to zoom out. Effectively what this allows you to do is zoom in and out. And this is really good for being able to see players who are far off. Next up we have look radius. What this does is it effectively increases the range or decreases the range of your access area. So for example when you look at a door or try to pick up an item, it can increase or decrease that range to allow you to pick up items more easy or allow you to access things that may be blocked by other interactable items. For example, when trying to upgrade a ceiling above your TC in a triangle, sometimes it can be hard to reach. If you set it to 0.1, it will be much easier to grab. Next we have switching what hand your weapon is held in. Now to switch it to left hand, type this command line and set it to true. And that will allow you to now use your weapon as if it was left handed. This can help you in certain situations where you need to do left hand peek or you just prefer playing left handed. Then to switch it back to right hand, just type the same command line and set it to false instead. Next we have Physics Step 60. This effect just allows you to jump higher and will help you make the wall jump at launch site. This next command will allow you to automatically readjust your sensitivity, allowing you to have better recoil control. What you want to do is change that 0.6 to your default sensitivity on Rust and change the 0.2 to a lower sensitivity that is, makes it easier for you to control your recoil. So you'll have to play around with it a little bit and find out what works for you. Now, if you want to unbind any of these keybinds you input it throughout the video, all you have to do is open up your command console, type bind, 
insert whatever key you want to unbind and then type false. This will unbind whatever command was attached to that key. Just note, if you do this for the F1 key, you'll have to go in settings under controls and re-key bind it.